In this Pathfinder Kingmaker guide, we're going to take a look at Octavia. She is a wizard that we're going to turn into an Arcane Trickster, which is a very powerful prestige class. Octavia's Arcane Trickster is a multi-class build that can seem complicated on first glance, but is easy to use and naturally progress due to dealing massive damage. This build focuses on using ray spells together with the sneak attack bonus to do massive single target damage with added AoE damage for good measure. Arcane Tricksters automatically receive the following feats and abilities. Ranged Lagertamain. Trickery is available for use at range of 30 feet or less. Helpful when dealing with traps and trap chests. Sneak Attack. Add 1 to 6 damage per sneak attack rank when attacking enemies that are flanked and have been denied their dexterity bonus to their armor class. Stunned, paralyzed, flat-footed, blinded, or pinned. Impromptu Sneak Attack. Lets you sneak attack even if the target does not meet sneak attack conditions. Flanked, stunned, paralyzed, flat-footed, etc. Invisible Thief gives you greater invisibility, meaning you can cast spells from invisibility continuously until it wears off with your sneak attack bonus applied to every attack. Surprise Spells add sneak attack damage to any spell if the target meets sneak attack conditions. Before this feat, sneak attack bonus could only be applied to ray spells, but with this it is applied to any spell that does damage. Octavia also has the physical enhancement ability where she can turn on bonuses to either dexterity, constitution, or strength. Before you get Cat's Grace, I would suggest using Dexterity Enchantment, and afterwards switching to Constitution. That way you get bonuses to two different attributes. Dexterity and Intelligence are the most important attributes for an Arcane Trickster. A Dexterity modifier is added to every Ray Spell attack roll due to them falling into the Range Touch Spells category. Since Intelligence increases the number of spells you can use per day, starting off adding two points into Dex and Intelligence is recommended so that you have the base modifier for both at plus five. The last point you get at the start of the game can be put wherever you want. There are some skills that are more important than others and you'll have enough points to level most of them to high ranks thanks to high in. Stealth is a good choice to start the battle without enemy spotting you and it adds the sneak attack bonus to your first attack. Knowledge Arcana enables you to copy spells from scrolls to your spellbook and can be used to identify magic items and monsters. Use Magic Device lets you use scrolls and wands making it a very good choice. Due to the ranged Lagertamain feat, Trickery is fantastic in dealing with traps and trap chests. Investing 4 points into mobility is a must because it is a requirement to unlock the Arcane Trickster class. Perception lets you spot traps among other things, making it an ideal combo with your Trickery setup. Octavia starts with level 1 in Rogue and level 1 in Wizard. The Arcane Trickster class can be unlocked when all requirements are met. Follow these tips to maximize build efficiency. Take the accomplished Sneak Attacker feat as soon as possible. Level up Knowledge Arcana, Trickery, and Mobility to 4. Level up Wizard until Arcane Trickster becomes available. When Arcane Trickster becomes available, focus on leveling it up to 10, which is the maximum level for Prestige classes. The rest of your levels go into the Wizard class to increase Caster level. Besides Accomplished Sneak Attacker, these are the most important feats to get. Point Blank Shot, plus 1 to damage and attack rolls with spells. Precise Shot, removes the minus 4 penalty when casting spells at an enemy engaged in melee. Combat Casting, plus 4 bonus on concentration checks, meaning you are less likely to be interrupted while casting. Weapon Focus Ray, Ray spells count as weapons for the purpose of feats that affect ranged spells. This feat adds plus 1 to attack rolls with any Ray spell. Spell Penetration and Greater Spell Penetration, makes it easier to overcome creatures' spell resistance. Metamagic and Power, increases power of chosen spell by 2 levels. Metamagic Maximize, increases power of chosen spell by 3 levels. Damage Spells. There are many amazing spells to choose from, but we will focus on Ray Spells. Ray Spells are ranged touch spells that can strike an opponent once or multiple times. Octavia starts off with three Ray Spells, Acid Splash, Ray of Frost, and Jolt. These are great starting spells because they have infinite uses. However, the three most powerful spells for this build are Scorching Ray, Hellfire Ray, and Disintegrate. Hellfire Ray is just an upgraded version of Scorched Ray, and they both strike your opponent multiple times while adding your sneak attack bonus to damage for every ray. Disintegrate hits once, but it hits very hard, usually killing an enemy instantly. An important thing to know is that only ray spells can benefit from sneak attack until Arcane Trickster level 10 is reached and the Surprise Spells feat is acquired. With Surprise Spells, any spell can add your sneak attack bonus to its damage. I have also added these damaging spells to the build, but feel free to switch for anything you'd like. Non-Damaging Spells Octavia comes with Transmutation School Specialization. That means you have one free slot in the spellbook every spell level 1 to 9, and you can select any option from the Transmutation School. However, there is a crucial spell that is not from the Transmutation School that you should look out for, and that is called Sense Vitals. This spell allows you to perform sneak attacks automatically, 
and it also stacks with other sneak attack bonuses. As an example, if you attack a flanked opponent while Sense Vitals is active, you will deal normal sneak attack damage just from flanking. Further sneak attack damage is added on top of that because of Sense Vitals. There are many amazing buffing spells for this build and some of them apply to allies as well. Before reaching level 9, you can opt for spells like Mirrored Image, Cat's Grace, Bear Endurance, Haste, Heroism if there is no one else who can cast this spell, and Reduce Person. These will help you out tremendously. Upon reaching level 9, you get to use Fiery Body, an amazing buffing spell, and after that you should get Heroic Invocation and Haste on top of Sense Vitals, and you are ready to roll. The following is a list of all non-damaging spells you should take, but feel free to add anything you'd like. How to Meta Magic To Meta Magic any spell, open your spellbook and click on the bottom right where it says Meta Magic. From here you can choose any spell and increase its level by empowering and or maximizing it. Adding levels to spells means you need to slot them into a higher level slot. For example, Hellfire Ray is a level 6 spell, and if Maximize is used, it will become a level 9 spell. It will then need to be slotted under level 9 spells in your spellbook. Use Empower and Meta Magic on Scorching Ray, Hellfire Ray, and or Disintegrate. Your spellbook should have three versions of Scorching Ray, Hellfire Ray, Disintegrate, and anything else you want to have besides those three. Do not forget that you can slot one spell multiple times. For example, you can have on your level 3 spells page Scorching Ray slotted five times if you want. Arcane Trickster Octavia is a powerful DPS build that can kill enemies instantly due to the stacking sneak attack bonuses and increased level of damaging spells amongst other things. Having someone in your party that can cast Heroism and Heroic Invocation is recommended so that you save that level 9 slot for any of the above mentioned spells. Remember that Sense Vitals always stacks with the normal sneak attack bonus, so make sure you are always doing normal sneak attack damage by focusing flanked enemies, using Impromptu Sneak Attack, or attacking after going into stealth by using the spells Vanish, Great Invisibility, and the Invisibility Thief ability. Wizards have a wide variety of spells to use, so add whatever you feel like would be a good choice. Nothing here is set in stone besides the ray spells. Stay tuned for more Pathfinder Kingmaker build guides as we cover all companions.